Hello friends, in this video we will learn plugin development. Um, so I will give an overview about the plugin development, uh, what is a plugin, why we make a plugins and how the developers can create a new plugin from the scratch. Okay, and we will see a benefits of developing a plugin. So in the WordPress, if you go to the plugins, you can see a list of the plugins here. So currently there is a one plugin called Hello Dolly. So this plugin is installed by default when you set up a new WordPress uh, site. So this plugin just simply uh, display the some uh, lyrics randomly in at here. Okay. So um, let's uh, let's learn see what is a plugin. So plugins are packages of the code that extend your uh, functionality of the WordPress. So your plugin could be uh, made up by the PHP code and also can you can use the uh, CSS, JavaScript and the uh, images. Okay. So by making your own plugin, you can extend the WordPress and you can build some additional functionality on top of the WordPress. Okay. So you can, for example, you can write a plugin that display a links to the 10 most recent posts on your site. So, uh, okay. So, and uh, why, uh, why the making the plugins? Okay. So uh, there is a one rule in a WordPress development is that don't touch WordPress code because when we there is a when there is an update uh, there is a new version update available of the WordPress and if we update the WordPress and if we have modified the WordPress code files then it will override the code file so whatever changes we have made or we have added made the changes for extending the functionality or modifying the functionality all those changes will be gone after the updating the WordPress and that is the main reason is that we make a plugins to extend uh, to extend the WordPress functionality or to modify some of the WordPress functionality okay so let's just see uh, how this hello dolly plugin have been made okay so in the visual studio code editor uh, I have opened entire WordPress uh, uh, source code so in the in the WP content directory, in the plugins directory, you all the plugins uh, you uh, the user install is uh, installed in the plugins folder. Here you can see the hello.php file. So in hello.php file, you can see the plugin header. Okay, so there is a plugin name, plugin URI, a description of that plugin, author who created that plugin, uh, the version, and then author URI. Okay, so this is the plugin header help. Uh, so uh, this plugin header helps WordPress to identify the plugins information and this information display into the WordPress dashboard uh, plugins page. So if you go to the plugins page, you can see the name hello dolly here. And this is the description of that plugin, the version number, the author name and the view details. So if you click on the view details, it will display all the details of that plugin from the WordPress.org plugins directory. Okay. So, uh, and this plugin, what does this? Do? It's 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 just a single PHP file where you can see this hello dolly get lyric uh, method, which return uh, which had the hello dolly. Uh, uh, this is the famous song, and this song's lyrics here, and it just uh, like when the uh, it just uses some accents and filters, and uh, which called the hooks. Don't worry about it. You will we will learn the what is hooks and what are the hooks and how we can use it in separate video uh, but hooks is just basically is that uh, you can use the hooks to mod to extend the functionality and to modify other wordpress core functionality okay so this just plugin display uh, the randomly uh, random lyrics uh, lines of the lyrics uh, into the uh, back end so here you can have a little faith in me fellas this is the lyrics from that song if i refresh the page you can see a different uh, lyrics words uh, from the each, uh, from each line. Okay, so this is a very simple Hello Dolly plugin uh, we can see. Um, see you on our next video. Jai WordPress.